Well, I clearly see two topics. The first one is the question of storage and storage at the world level. Uh, everybody is agree to say that a low level of, st of stocks is a very important determinant for high prices. But so far, the debate about some coordination at the international level of national storage policies is clearly forbidden. Because a lot of bad experience in the past, because also of academic literature saying that it is not a good way, well, you, we don't have a, any debates. But it's not, I don't have any solutions, uh, ready-made solutions or you know, turnkey solutions, but I really think that we need to put more intellectual energy and more debate on this topic to reopen. The, other, the second one, I can continue. The second one is a question of demand. Actually, in most of the study or debate or analysis you, you can find, demand size, the demand, the, the demand for food product is, is treated as an exogenous variable. There is no discussion. Demand is here, it will grow, and supply has to, to respond to demand. So there is apparently no way to influence demand. Oh, it's clear that there is various instruments that can influence demand. And there is really two very important demands that can be discussed today and maybe influenced. The first one is the demand generated by the biofuel production that is created really a, a high pressure on the demand side for cereal products and vegetable oils. And the second one is meat products. Meat is, is a serious issue and there is a lot of health problems, a lot of environmental problems. Well, a lot of even uh, animal welfare problems re related to, to meat production. So meat should be one of the topics and meat consumption, meat demand should be one of the topics that will be discussed today for public policies.